Hello, everyone. Hello, hello, hello. I'm excited. I am going to wait for Facebook to build me a audience. Come on in, you guys. I just got back from the award show, the entrepreneurship award show down in um, Atlanta, Georgia. I'm just so excited. They announced me as author of the year. So to God be all the glory for that. I'll upload my pictures later. Um, but I am excited, people of God, that I did win author of the year at the Entrepreneurship Award. Shout out to uh, Dr. Ashanti and uh, Dr. Uh, Cash, Casual Bits. I'm telling you, God is amazing and he is faithful. Um, shout out to my friend, Monica Daniels. She sat by my side there. Um, I just, you know, I'm so grateful. She made the sacrifice to come up and be with me. Also, my children, my family, my husband, you know, everything like that. But yes, thank you guys. Thank you guys. We are on people of God. I am excited. It's another night on our social media revival. I suffered for this. I don't know about you, you guys, but I'm telling you, I've been suffering, but God is still amazing. He's mighty and he's faithful. So if I got, listen, if y'all can celebrate my win on tonight, come on, author of the year award. I am too excited. It was like Dr. Shakira makes the author of the year award. First they said, the, the nominees goes to, and they said four other names. And then they said author of the year goes to Dr. Shakira McFadden. Everybody was like, ah! I was screaming. I did my little two-step coming up. To God be all the glory. Um, but now let's get into it. Come on. I, 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 I feel like there's a, there's a winner spirit on here tonight. I feel like there's an underdog spirit on here on tonight. I feel like, come on, God is uplifting the ugly ducklings and the one that, the ones that's been, you know, counted out and looked down on. It's our time to shine. Come on, people of God, begin to tag. And share, you guys, y'all got to excuse me. I'm a little crunk. I'm a little hype because I got my award. I want to show it to y'all, but it's way on the other side of my Airbnb. But I am honored. I am just uh, in awe at the things God have been doing in my life. There was a lot of great other authors in the category. Let me tell you, let me say this to you, and then we're going to get right to it. Let me say this to you. Don't let nobody ever tell you. Come on. You will never amount to anything. I don't care how ugly your past is, baby. Come on. God got a platform for you. Why? Because you got to tell somebody just how good he is in the midst of every situation you are going through. You got to tell people just how good God is. Come on. When everybody else counted you out. So I suffered for this. I'm excited about the woman of God that is coming on. On tonight, people of God, I'm excited to get the word of God. I don't know. I just feel like it's an underdog spirit on here on tonight. It's a spirit for people who have suffered. Come on. But still got the victory. People who have suffered. Come on. But God still show up and show out. People who have suffered. You better get what I'm saying. But God is, watch this, taking them from the back of the line and placing them at the front. Come on. I need you to begin to tag and share like never before. Can I prophesy? over you that eyes have not seen nor ears have heard what God wants to do in you and through you the one that's watching this video come on shout out to you Katrina Hinch for coming in tagging and sharing Lakeisha I won author of the year what's up sis do me a favor and put this in the group Tiffany God bless you for tagging and sharing Tiffany Bowman I love you so much sis thank you for checking on me every Every day. You don't even know my situation. You just seen my post. Trust me, I be paying attention. I pay attention to people who don't check on me when I'm down, but I check on them when they going through stuff. That's why I love my followers so much. Y'all keep it 100. When I when, when people connect to me, go through stuff, I be calling like this. You good? What can I do? What can I do? But you know, God steady showing me how people are. You know, I'm learning. Every day, but thank you for checking on me every day. I'm going to be good. I'm going to be good. I love you. And woman, I got to get down to your way because I got to spend some time with you. I love you. and You don't even know by checking on me, you was putting a seed in the ground. 
People don't even understand that. Why? Because strong people need people. People don't even understand that. Why? Because the person who uplift everybody else, mighty God be needing people to be there for them. So I honor you for that openly. Tiffany Bowman, I love you. Are you just a Facebook follower? We never met a day in our life. Jesus Christ. It, it, it always be the other ones. You understand the other, other, other ones. But anyways, that's a whole nother subject. On my, my long nine hour drive back home to Fort Lauderdale tomorrow, I'll be thinking about all that. You know, God been up and opening my eyes to some things. But I love you guys. Come on, just a little bit more. Come on, just two more minutes. I need you to begin to tag and share before I bring on the speaker on tonight. Woman of God, if you are on, if you can send me a request to come on so I can bring you on. Come on, God bless you, uh, Taylor. God bless you. Come on. Um, 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 thank you, Dominique. Come on. God bless you. God bless you. Come on. I said tag and share. I said tag and share. Come on. When I move, you move just like that. I don't know. I just feel like God up to something tonight. Tiara, I love you. God bless you. Woman of God for tagging and sharing. Michelle, blessings for tagging and sharing. Come on, Makia. How you doing, babe? Could I get you to tag and share? Come on, just 60 more seconds, and I'm going to bring on the speaker on tonight, people of God. When I tell you, let me tell you about my friend Monica. <laughs> She's so crazy. Listen, so first of all, I tried to sit all the way to the back of the stadium because I don't need no attention. Ain't about no titles with me. They escorted me all the way to the front of the stadium with my guests and everything like that. My sister, everybody, you know, who supported me. I love my brother-in-law. I love y'all, my nephews, my children, everybody. And they put us up to the front. And once they did that, people of God, listen. They end up calling my name. I heard somebody hooting and hollering over my shoulder and recording. And Monica was doing just that. Get you some people who going to cheer for you like they won. I'm telling you. I'm just so honored and I'm so grateful. Listen, you guys, let me bring on the prophetess of tonight. I am excited for the woman of God that is coming. Coming on tonight is our night. Tonight is our night. I suffered for this. I suffered for everything God is doing in my life. Welcome, prophetess. Woman of God, thank you, thank you, thank you for gracing my platform. Thank you for being a voice of God to the people of God on tonight. I'm going to back up, woman of God, so you can let God use you so I can continue to tag and share also. Let me introduce to you guys the prophetess of tonight woman of god let god use you thank you so much for allowing me to be on your platform um father god in the name of jesus god we love you we honor you god we thank yes. you for this moment this opportunity to be in your presence oh god we thank you right now god for every door that you're about to open tonight oh god we thank you right now god for revelation oh god we thank you god for your people everyone that has joined god we know right now god that there is a word for them oh god god we pray right now god that you will open up the window of heaven god and pour us our blessings that we don't have room to store and god we give you glory praise and honor in jesus name amen Amen. Amen. Um, I want to talk about the subject. Um, I suffered for this because that was the topic for the live. And mm -hmm. I want to read a passage of scripture, Isaiah 43. And I'm going to start at the 10th verse, but I really want to focus on verse 18 and 19. And verse 10 says, but you are my witnesses, O Israel, says the Lord. You are my servant. You have been chosen to know me. Yes. Believe in me and understand that I alone am God. He yes. says, there is no other God. There never has been and there never will be. 11 says, I, yes, I am the Lord and there is no other savior. First, I predicted your rescue. Then I saved you and proclaimed it to the world. He said, no foreign God has ever done this. You are my witnesses that I am the only God, says the Lord. He said, from eternity to eternity, I am God. No one can snatch anyone out of my hands. No one can undo what I have done. This is what the Lord says, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. For your sake, I will send an army against Babylon, forcing the Babylonians to flee in those ships they are so proud of. 14 says, I am the Lord, your Holy One, Israel's creator and king. I am the Lord who opened the way through the waters, making a dry path through the sea. 17 says, I called forth the mighty army of Egypt. 
with all his chariots and horses, and I drew them beneath the waves, and they drowned. Their lies sniff out like a smothering candle wick. But this is what 18 says, doctor. It says, but forget all that, because it is nothing compared to what I am going to do. And so we yes. want to talk about the subject, I suffered for this. I want to take a little time to focus on the children of Israel and how some of the things that they went through, not only the things that they went through, but how God actually brought them through and brought them out. We have suffered things in our lives um, and went through different trials and storms, but God wants you to know that your suffering was not in vain. Psalms 126 and five says, they that sow in tears shall reap in joy. And second Timothy two and 12 says, if we suffer, we shall also reign with him. God yeah. reminded them of the previous things that they had went through. The first thing he said was, I predicted your rescue. I prophesied it. I had already told you that I was going to bring you out. And then he said, I saved you. And then I announced it to the world. Thirdly, he said, I parted the Red Sea and drowned all your enemies. But then mm. he came back and said, but I want you to forget about all that. So what he was saying is, I'm about to surpass everything that you have witnessed. Yeah. He said, I want yes. you to forget about the good and I want you to forget about the bad. See, the reason why he said, I want you to forget about the bad, because some of us are stuck in a bad season. As Jesus. long as the enemy can keep you focused on failures and what happened in your last season, you will never push past the discouragement and move forward to your new and he said not only do i want you to forget about the bad but i want you to forget about the good because some of you are stuck in a good season mm. and he said you're still excited about what god did for you in the last season you're holding god in a box but this is what he said you are excited about the apartment but i'm trying to give you deeds to a house he said yes. don't hold me in a box because i'm trying to do a new thing in your life and he said not only do i am I going to surpass what you have witnessed? He said, it's going to be sooner than you expected. Mm. Verse 19 says, for I am about to do something new. See, I have already begun it. Do you not see it? I will make a pathway through the wilderness and I will create a river in the dry wasteland. He said, what mm. I'm about to do for you in this season is going to be sooner than you expected. So what he is saying is it's going to be new, something about to happen in your life that's going to be new and it's going to be now. He said it's going to be new because it's something that has never happened for, for you before. He said it's something that has not existed before. He said everything around you is about to be new because eyes haven't seen, ears haven't heard, nor enter into the heart of man what God has mm -hmm. in store for the people that love him. So what he is saying is I'm about to blow your mind in yes. this season. I'm about to do something in your life that you never thought could happen. What God is about to do, he said not only is it going to be new, it's going to be now because now talks about the promptness of God. This is for those that's been stuck in the season of delay, mm. that's been stuck in the season of procrastination, that's been stuck in a season called stuck, you're about to enter into your now season. Yes, he said, yes, yes. Not only am I going to do it now, but he said it shall happen. Shall talks about the promise of God. He said it is a promise and it is about to happen. God is not a God that he should lie. Neither is he son of man that he should repent. But if he said it, he is going to do it. This is for the yes. few people that's been holding on to their promises. God said, I need you to get ready for what I'm about to do for you in yes. this season. He said, I need you to get ready for the new thing that I'm about to spring up in your life. I need you to get ready for the new blessings that's about to come into your life because this is what happened. A lot of us are stuck because we have been we have been experiencing so many disappointments. We have been experiencing so many trials, so many troubles in our lives. And what happened is when we experience that, we begin to doubt God and doubt the things that he has said. But God told me to let you know that I have not forgotten about you. I have not forgotten about the things that I have promised you. He said, not only that, it's about to spring up. Spring up means it's about to come out of nowhere. Yes. He said this 
next blessing is about to catch you off God. You mm -hmm. thought that it was going to come from a family member. You thought it was going to come from your job. You thought it was going to come from your connections. But God said, that's not about to happen in this season. He said, I'm about to allow a stranger to bless you in this season mm -hmm. because the, the people that we've been depending on, God said, I allowed them to tell you no. Can we appreciate all the no's that Jesus. we received in our Jesus. life? Can we Thank appreciate you. all the time that people told us that they couldn't do it and we know that they could and God said I allowed them to tell you no why because I want to get the glory out yes. of your life I want to get the glory out of everything that you are going through and I know it seems like we have seen other people get blessed and other people have walked past us and we was asking God when is it going to be my time when are you going to bless me when are you going to bring me out when are you going to save my kids mm. when are you going to give me the business when am I going to be able to buy my house because we have watched everybody else be blessed and God is saying your time is now listen God said this is what he said he said the way that I am creating for you you're not going to go the route that everybody else had to go yes. but he said I am going to create water in the desert he said I'm going to give a highway in the midst of nowhere this is what God is saying he said my business is about to spring up he said it's going to come out of nowhere my ministry is about to spring up my finances is about to spring up what do you mean they used to sing a song that says nothing can stop me i'm all the way up but now god is saying nothing can stop you because you're about to spring up yes. what he is saying is nobody can stop you in this season nobody can stop the blessings that god has for you in this season nobody can stop the hand of god on your life in this season why because some of you are thinking that i am not I'm not the one that God is choosing in this season, but he is choosing the ones that you thought that he wasn't going to choose. Jesus. He's putting his anointing on the people that you thought that he wasn't going to anoint in this mm -hmm. season. He said, I'm raising the ones up from the back of the line and I'm bringing them all the way to the front of the line. God said, why? Because I want to get the glory out of your life in this season. He said, I want to show you who I am in this season. And guess what? A lot of us have been serving God, but we haven't as experience God. God said it's not going to be that you're just serving me. He said you're going to be able to experience me in this season. And not only are you going to experience me, you're going to be able to tell everybody who I am. You're going to be able to tell the world the things that I have done for you. Listen, he said not only is it going to come unexpectedly, but it's going to be supernatural in every way. He said because I am creating a way in the wilderness. Have you ever seen a highway in the midst of the wilderness? Have you ever seen a war waterfall in the desert. He said, I'm about to put a blessing where a blessing is not supposed yes. to be. I'm about to put a miracle where a miracle is not supposed to be. A lot of us are spiritual but we're not supernatural. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A lot of us are stuck in a comfortable place. It's a place that we believe, but we don't believe in the supernatural. But what happens when God is saying, I need you to leave what's been good to you. Mm -hmm. I need you to leave that job that's been paying you well. He said, I need you to leave what's good for what's better. He said, I'm about to do something new in your life. And the reason why God has not done anything new in our life is because we're holding on to the oh. old things. We're holding on to the things that are comfortable for us in this season. But God is saying, I am about to blow your mind Jeez. in this season. Look, some of you got to let go of the old things. You got to let go of the past. You got to let go of what you've been holding on to, that familiar place in your life. You have to let it go because God said, in this season, I need you to trust me and only me. I yes. need you to believe in me and only me. Listen, Elijah didn't want to leave the brook, but God allowed the brook to dry up so he can leave. But yes. God said, I'm about to take you all the way from Crohn so you can go eat cake. And this is what's happening. We are holding on. He said, lean not to your own understanding, but acknowledge me in all of your ways and I will direct your path. What God is saying tonight, he is saying that I need some people to trust me like yes. never before. I need some people to trust me with everything in them. Why? Because we are so full of religion. We're so full of tradition that we have really forgotten who God is. This is why he told them, he said, I need you to forget everything that I have done for you in the past. I need you to forget all of the things that you have went through.
through. I need you to forget all of the hurt that you have experienced. Somebody said, how can I forget all of these things when I am currently experiencing them right now in my mm. life? But God said, I cannot move you forward until you are ready to let go of the past. I know that there's somebody that's on this line that needs a supernatural miracle. This is what supernatural means. You don't see your way out. You don't know how it's going to happen. You don't know how you're going to get approved. You don't know how God is going to make a way. You don't know how God is going to save your children. You don't know how he's going to save your husband. You don't know how he's going to give you a business with no money. But he said, I need you to let go of what you think so yes. I can give you what I have for you. God said, I have a promise. I have a path for your life. He said, but the only reason why I can't give you what I have because you're still holding on to the past. You're still holding on to those things that are keeping you hostage in this season. And God said, I need you to let it go because mm. I have a path for your life. I have a plan for your life. And he said, a lot of us that's been in church, all of our lives have been in church, at least part of our life. We have been in church and we are going through the process, but we mm. don't trust God like we say that we trust God. He said, mm. trust in me means letting go. Trust in me means trusting me and giving me everything mm. that you got and god is saying i need somebody to know that i'm about to do something new in their life and not only is it gonna be new but it's about to be now and god said it's going to spring up out of nowhere for those of you that's been trusting god that's been believing in god that need god to perform a miracle in your life that needs god to create a highway in the midst of the wilderness god said i'm about to do it he said do the it. reason why i have not done it already because i need for you to prepare your mind he said i need to and listen let me tell you what happens see god has not given us a lot of things that he's trying to give us and the reason why is because not only are we holding on to old things but we're holding on to old people god said i am causing a separation to happen in your life do you know what god is saying i'm holding up your blessing because there are people that's around you that i don't want them to experience it i don't want them to reap off of you because they don't mean you no good they don't mean you well but god said i need you to separate and see trust in god fully it means that you have to make some decisions yes. you have to make some uncomfortable decisions you have to make some uncomfortable choices but god is saying in this season if you can depend on me if you can trust in me if you can just forget about everything that has happened in your life if you can forget about your past god is saying i'm about to do something new mm. not only am i gonna do it new it's gonna be now yes god there, there will be Ooh. no more waiting <laughs> no more being at the end of the line because god said i'm about to do it i am about to do it in your life he said i am about to do the unthinkable i am about to perform listen what god is saying in this moment there are some unbelievers that's on this line and the re you don't believe is the reason why not because you don't believe in god because you believe in god and you believe that god can do it for somebody else but god told me to tell you that not only can he do it for somebody else but he can do it for you you Jesus. have trusted god to save other people people children but god said in this season i'm going to save your children lord, we used to sing a song in my grandmother's church it's me oh lord that's standing in the yes. of prayer and somebody needs to acknowledge tonight that it's not my grandmother it's not my mother it's not my sister or brother but it's me that's standing in the need of prayer and god said i'm about to open up a door in your life but he said i need you to open up your mouth before i can open Jeez. the door you need to open your mouth before i I can open the door i need for you to lose some things in your life before i can open the door i need you to release some people in your life so tonight is all about making decisions tonight is all about trusting god like never before and guess what? if you want got to do something supernatural in your life you got to do something that you never done mm -hmm. you have to trust god on a level that you never trusted him on you have to believe him on a level that you never believed him on. And he said, I'm about to do it. I am a close survivor. I'm about to do it in your life. I'm about to move in your life. Thank you, Jesus. It's about to be new. Thank you, Jesus. And it's about Thank to you. be now. Thank you, Jesus. God said you need to leave where you are. You need to leave what's good and go to what's better. Ah. Because I am 
going to surpass everything that you witnessed. And after I surpass everything you witnessed, I'm going to give you, it's going to be unexpected. It's going to spring up out of nowhere. Yes, everything that God is about to do in your life, I, 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 I told my church last Sunday that it's going to happen overnight. Yes, God. Wake up, you're gonna wake Jesus. up set free. You're gonna wake yeah. up a millionaire. You're gonna wake up blessed. You're gonna wake up healed. He said it's going to happen overnight. It's all about making a decision. I don't know about you, but tonight I just want to trust God on the level that I never trusted. Oh, my, 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 Jesus. I want to believe God on the level that I never believed Him on. Why? Because I want to see him make a highway in the desert. I want to see him make a highway in the wilderness and a waterfall in the desert. I want to see him do the supernatural thing in my life. God is about to do it. Jeez. God is about to do it. We got to leave that comfortable place. Jeez. We have to leave the comfortable place. What you are believing God to do for you right now, we can tr we can believe, we can touch and agree that God will do it for you right now. We can touch and agree that God will perform. Listen, there is nothing too hard for God. I was praying for God to do something in my life, and, and, and it didn't happen the way that I thought that it's supposed to happen. But God began to speak to me, and God began to tell me, he said, listen, is anything too hard for me? Yes, God. It's not about what you see in this season. It's all about what God said. He said that it's not about what you see. It's about what I said. And God has spoke to me. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give this testimony, and then I'm done. God has spoke to me and told me. He said, "I'm going to give you a church." Mm. At this time, I already had a ministry, and I was already doing ministry in a building. But God said, I'm going to give you a building. I'm going to give you a church. Do you know what give mean? That means you don't have to pay anything for it. Mm. He said, you're not going to have to pay a penny for it. I'm going to give it to you. And so I was in the church. I had moved in the church. And the more God spoke to me and said, I'm going to give you the building, the more the man asked for his rent money. Mm. But God said, I need you to trust the word that I'm saying to you. And so God said, I'm going to give you the building. And so August the 7th, August the 25th, 2017, the landlord called me and said, meet me at the courthouse. And so I met the landlord at the courthouse and he said, he presented the deeds to me and he said, all you got to do is sign right here and the building is yours. I did mm. not pay a penny for it because Jesus. God had already promised that to me. Listen, in this season, you got to know for a fact that you hear the voice of God. You got to know for a fact that God is talking to you because guess what? The same way he did it for me, he can do it for you. Yes. God said, I'm not just giving out church building. I'm giving out houses. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm giving yeah. out cars. I'm giving out healings. I'm giving out blessings. Yes. <laughs> he said, if I did it for you, I can do it again. He's Thank the you. same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. He is the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. And what God is saying on this live tonight, he is saying that some of you have to sow your way out. Mm. Some of you have to sow your way into the supernatural. You have to sow to see God move the way that he's trying to move in this season. And right now, I'm going to, it, 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 it's, it's people on here that can give 50, some can give 150, and some can give 200. The cash app, the number for the cash app is 754-246-0580. And me, myself, I'm going to give the 200 because God is looking for somebody to sow the supernatural. Mm. Sometimes you have to sow your way out. Sometimes you have to believe God on a level that you never believed him before. And God is going to do it in this hour. God is going to do it in this season. Again, the number is 754-246-0580. You can give by Cash App, Zelle, PayPal, Chime, and Venmo. But right now, God is asking you. He is saying that you have a seed and whatever God is laying on your heart, you can sow. And sow 
into the supernatural. Mm. So to see God move like never before. So to see, to show God the faith that you have. Amen. I'm done, doctor. Listen, woman of God, thank you so much. I'm going to reach back out to you right after this live. Listen, that was a amazing word from prophetess. When I tell you God is doing a new thing and he's doing it now, I want everybody to put in the comment section, new and now. New and now, new and now. The woman of God called three C's on tonight. It was $50, $150, $200. She said she's sewing also. I'm saying trust God on tonight. The phone number is 754-246-0580. That's for Cash App. That's for Chime. That's for Zelle. That's for PayPal. You can even sow people of God through Apple Pay. If you are sowing people of God through Apple Pay, the phone number also for Apple Pay is 954-245-7379. Again, it's 954-245-7379. Some of you say you don't have those ways to give, so you need a invoice. If you need a invoice, people of God, Text the same phone number, 754-246-0580 with the word invoice, your email, and the amount you want me to request. I want you to put in the memo section when you're sowing your seed on tonight, new and now. I received that in the name of Jesus. She said, God doing it overnight. I personally need an overnight blessing, and I'm believing God. We got to have new faith in him in order to get him to move right now. So I'm believing God to do the miraculous again. $50, $150, $200. Some of you say, Evangelist Shakira, I don't have that to give. Sow your best seed. Pray about it and ask God, are you supposed to give into this live tonight? Some of you say, I don't have it. But you've shared, you've tagged. God know your heart. But there are others who have no choice but to sow their way out the pit to sow their way into their necks. So if that is you on tonight, 754-246-0580. Come on, I want you to comment below, I sold. I want you to comment below, I sold. Jaquila Lakia, we have your seed. Rhonda Clay, we have your seed. Tamika Scott, we have your seed. Come on, I want you guys to push. I want you to push on tonight. I suffered for this. Come on, we are almost at the end of our 25 night social media revival. There are people sharing. Come on, Denise Norris. Come on, I receive your seed. Willis Smith, I receive your seed. 754-246-0580. You're saying you're sowing a new and now seed. God is doing a new thing and he's doing it right now. Not tomorrow. He's doing it, you know, not next week, not next month. The prophet is saying he's doing it right now. So if you need an invoice, text 754. The number is at the bottom of the screen. Text 754-246-0580. And text the word invoice with your email and the amount you want me to request. Gifting hands, God bless you, woman of God, for sowing your seed. Just comment below, I sold. Um, if you are doing Cash App, Chime, Zelle, PayPal, or Venmo. Again, Cash App, Chime, Zelle, PayPal, or Venmo. It's the same phone number, 754-246-0580. Listen, you guys, if you are doing Cash App, please put in the full phone number until you see Dr. Shakira M pop up on Cash App because they made fake pages of me. I reported to Cash App. Put in the full phone number until you see Dr. Shakira M pop up. Listen, you guys. Follow me on YouTube at Shakira McFadden. I upload every live video there when it's over. Follow me on Facebook at Shakira McFadden. Hit the follow button, then favorite, so it let you know every time I'm live. Follow me on Instagram at Shakira underscore the realtor. And follow me on TikTok at Evangelist Shakira. Listen, you guys, if you are following me on, on Facebook, 
Go and hit the favorite button also. So it let you know every time I'm live so you don't miss a revival. Every night, 11 p.m. Eastern time, we are here. Again, you guys, congratulations to me. I was down in uh, Atlanta, Georgia uh, this weekend for the entrepreneurship um, award show and I did win author of the year. So I am excited. My family, my friends were here with me and I'm just honored to be chosen. Every author that was in that category was amazing, but I thank God for favor and I thank God for everything I've been through in my life. Don't let nobody stop you. Don't let nobody keep you bound. Don't let nobody tell you that because you have an ugly past that God cannot use you. It's underdog season, baby, and it's all about us. So the last shall be first. And the first shall be last. Tonight, I won. But guess what? You a winner too. Come on. Why? Because God is doing a new thing and he's doing it now. Which means you are next. Oh, Jesus. Maybe I could be a rapper. Y'all just missed them bars I threw. God is doing a new thing and he's doing it right now. So that means you are next. I love you guys. God bless you guys. I got a long road drive back tomorrow. So I'm going to get rest. I love you guys. God bless you guys. Good night.